What's up everyone and welcome back to Analyzing the Greats, where we look at some of the greatest runners of all time and analyze exactly what made them so great. In this episode, we'll be looking at Wilson Kipsang of Kenya. And currently, we have a three-way tie for first place with Kenanisa Bekele, Haile Gibber Selassie, and Hisham El Garouj, all sitting at the top position with scores of 99 out of 100. And in a close second are both Mo Farah and Elliot Kipchoge with scores of 98. Other runners that I've ranked will be in the description down below, so don't forget to check that out. But for this video, we'll be focusing on Wilson Kipsang, who has largely focused on the marathon for the majority of his career. In fact, out of the 20 fastest marathon performances ever run, Kipsang has run four of them, which is more than any other athlete in history, including Elliot Kipchoge. Since 2012, Kipsang has won the New York City Marathon, he's won the Berlin Marathon, he's won the Tokyo Marathon, and he's also won the London Marathon twice. What's even more incredible is that from October of 2010 to 2014, Kipsang didn't lose a single marathon or half marathon. Incredibly, he actually had a 13 race winning streak where he broke four course records and also the previous world record in the marathon by running a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 23 seconds. With stellar personal bests in the 10K, the half marathon, and the marathon, Wilson Kipsang is regarded as one of the greatest marathon runners of all time, and it's quite easy to see why. Alright everyone, let's take a look at some of Wilson Kipsang's most famous races and see what we can learn. Alright everyone, the first video we are going to look at today is the 2013 Berlin Marathon, and this was right in the middle of Kipsang's absolute dominance over the half marathon and marathon distances. I mean, he was borderline untouchable, um, and you get an idea of just how untouchable he was here. I mean, Eli Kipchoge is behind him, but Eli Kipchoge is the marathon greatest. He is almost untouchable now, but... At the time, Kip Sang had his had his number. Um, you can see his uh, his advantage over him here, and this is at the very end of the race. This is with the last uh, right around the last ten minutes. We're gonna take a look at his stride here. He has a very very relaxed stride. Got a very smooth cadence. His arms are nice and relaxed. He it just looks like he's floating. And when he runs, he's nice and tall, which makes breathing easier, makes turnover of his legs easier, and he just looks effortless. It's really cool to watch. Um, and the end of the race here, he actually runs uh, at a 4 minute and 32 second pace over the last 2 kilometers. From, four, from 40k to 41k, he runs a 249, and from 41k to the finish, he also runs a pace that's equivalent to 4 minutes and 32 seconds per mile. So he is rolling here, and amazingly, he really doesn't look like he's going that fast. I mean, he's clearly motoring, but there's not much strain at the end of the marathon, and really really unfortunate finish with that loser having to break his marathon world record finish. I hate that for him, but Wilson Kipsang handled it like a pro. Uh, anyways, the second video we're going to look at here is the 2012 Great North Run, where Kipsang is facing up against Micah Kogo. And this race is impressive because they get close to breaking 59 minutes. And if you get if you get close to that 59 minute barrier in the half, you are rolling. So, and that, by the way, 59 minutes is a 4 minute and 31 second per mile pace. So, these guys are moving. And again, you can see his cadence here. It's just super relaxed. And when you compare him to Kogo in the front there, the arm carriage is strikingly different. Kipchoge's, um, excuse me, uh, Kipsang's arms go down almost near his hips. Uh, it, it, it's sort of a little too far down, but it's nice and relaxed. There's no strain where Kogo kind of crosses. Um, it doesn't seem to be as efficient, honestly. Um, and this is over the last couple of minutes here. So this is when they're trying to take up the pace and really push the pace. Um, and with about 30 seconds to go, Kogo has gapped Kipsang. But this is really impressive because Kipsang brings out a pretty lethal kick here. Look at his turnover and look at his knee drive coming down the finish here. We'll get an idea of how fast he's moving right here in slow-mo. Look how high his knees come. His arm swing is super powerful. I had never seen him do a kick like that. And with a finishing time of 59 minutes and 6 seconds, really impressive. Really, really impressive. And the last video we are going to look at is the 2014 New York City Marathon, where Kip Sang was competing against the up-and-coming Lalisa de Sissa of Ethiopia. And this is another interesting comparison because... DeSissa does sort of the similar thing as Kogo with his arms. He sort of has this wheel-crossing kind of flare of his arms. Not the most efficient, but 
Uh, DeSissa is certainly a battler, but Kip Sang here is just, he looks so focused and he looks so poised. That's what I think made him such a great marathoner. He was so put together, so well trained, mentally strong, and I think that grants him the ability to just hang on and push and endure longer than all of his, all of his uh, competitors. Uh, and right here, though, he's trying to break DeSissa, but he can't, which props to DeSissa. This is a really impressive performance for him. But as you'll see as time goes on, Kip Sang's poise and his balanced stride, really impressive. I think this just showcases his mental fortitude more than anything else. And right here is the break. Kipchoge hits the gas, or excuse me, Kip Sang. Kip Sang hits the gas, and DeSissa has no answer. Just look at the difference there. It's strikingly different. Kip Sang is nice and balanced. DeSissa looking back. I mean, that's that's a telltale sign of uh, being in trouble looking back. Um, and so really from there, Kip Sang just kind of pushes it, gaps him, and he's gone. And he wins the New York City Marathon. Fantastic race. Wilson Kip Sang is a truly incredible marathon runner. All right, everyone, it is time to give Wilson Kipsang a score, and don't forget we are scoring him on a scale of 1 to 100, with 100 being the absolute best he can do. And here are my thoughts. And as you can see, he gets a 97 out of 100, a really, really talented runner, and I'm going to put my thoughts down in the description down below. Feel free to check out each category, let me know what you think. These are just my opinions. I would love to know your feedback. Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more great running content, and I will see you all in the next video.